Fence Marketing Profit Podcast. Interviews with million dollar plus fence and gate business owners on how they market and grow their companies in today's economy. Hear directly from the most successful leaders in your business and discover what they're doing to keep their phones ringing, trucks running, and businesses booming with your host, Scott Andreessen. All right. So I see we have... uh, we have people lining up. Here we go. We're going to get started in just a moment, folks. What's up, Brad? What's up, Dustin? Kelsey, Sarah, Shelly, Colleen. My goodness, we're getting quite the turnout here. Ben, how you doing? Marlena, Todd, my gosh. they keep. You're a popular guy, Matt. I, I paid them all. I paid Dude, them all to join in. Wow. Well, folks, I want to, Mitch, how you doing? Parker, thank you so much for showing up, you guys. Uh, this is not one to miss, so your, your time is not going to be wasted on this, for sure. Um, we're going to get started here in just a moment, and uh, we have a very special webinar today. We're going to get started here with uh, Matt Warner. Um, let's just give people maybe another minute or so, Matt, to, uh, to sure. triple in. Sure. So it's great. Um, I'm excited. More people showing up. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Kelsey. Casey. Good to see you. So um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, get started here. Pretty much right on time. Uh, just give people a little little minute or so to, to get in. Yeah, this is great. Okay. So, yeah, I think we can go ahead and get started, uh, folks. All right. So, Let's do it. Um, my name's Scott Andreessen with Fence Marketing Team, and I have a very special guest on the webinar today, Mr. Matt Warner of my. I don't, I don't know about very special. I mean, come on, Sue, you're Just my VIP. Guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Owner of Empire Fence and. Um, yeah, I mean, before we get into it, Matt, I was super impressed because when I went out to Fence Tech, um, you know, I, I, I was obviously naive because I was not familiar with my salesman. And when I went to the display and I saw how this works and how it drastically improves the sales process in purchasing a fence, I was floored. I just thought this was the coolest thing I ever seen. So I had to get in touch with you so we could do this and show everybody uh, how this works. So um, I want to go ahead and drill down into this. Matt, can you give everyone out there just kind of a a brief background on who you are and and your history? Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Um, So Matt Warner, Got a, been married for 26 years and three kids, and very blessed on that end of life. And we uh, we started a fence company uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, before that, I was in general construction, and I worked for another small fence company uh, doing some sales. And before that, I was uh, a farmer. So I grew up on the farm most of my life. My family still farms, and that's kind of um, that's kind of my uh, my love. But as we know that. Farming now is tough, so I went a different direction. Never actually dreamed that I'd be in the fence world. Um, but what happened with my salesman was a, uh, a while back I, when I first got into running our own business, I got really tired of uh, going to visit people's houses, and they had no idea what a fence would cost. And when I would say this vinyl fence is going to be around five thousand dollars, they just about fell over on me. And and right then you 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 had to really work hard. And I still was I would like to think I was pretty successful in my sales, or very successful actually. Um, I, I sold a lot of fences, but I had to really work hard to kind of get back off of that. I, I'll, I'll tell you real quick. I, I envision that every every sale you go on to, you have, if you picture it like a cup of glass, right? So it's a, it's a, a glass and it's full, right? The opportunity's there uh, like a full glass. But every bump in the road you hit, that glass spills just a little bit and you lose a little bit. So my philosophy was, is man, I wish I could create something that 
that set the groundwork ahead of time, that gave me some information about them because I love it whenever I can get somebody to give me a budget number. And not to not that we have to stick to that budget, but just to kind of a starting point. So I wanted some information. I wanted them to have some information and and try to try to get that that first part of the awkwardness over with. So I said, man, why can't we use some kind of drawing tool with a catalog? And uh, I went and found a company that that basically they that's what they do is they work on mapping software and. They, I drew it literally, saw my marker board, guys. This is my marker board that we go through. And I literally took a marker and I started drawing it on the wall for them. And they said, yeah, I think we can, we can build it. And uh, about a year and a half later, we released it. And uh, at first, I, I didn't know really how popular it would be because fence people are very in tune with doing it the way we've always done it. And every fence guy thinks they're the best salesman in the world. And fence guys are good salesmen, and most of them are. So, But my philosophy in life is I don't want to chase every single lead. Um, you know, one of our most precious commodities is time. And it's really been on my mind a lot, especially lately. I've just been thinking about how do we value our time and, and when do we spend our time. And I want to spend my time going after the most potential leads possible. And so, therefore, my salesman was uh, born and created, and uh, we released it, and we're in, going into our uh, next year will be our sixth year of having it out there on the market. Um, we were the original ideas of it. Uh, we, we, it's actually a lot deeper than what people even think just from when you see it. But that's how my salesman was basically invented and created. I took a problem that I had. Mm -hmm. implied or applied uh, some thought met up with the right software company uh, right here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we created it. And here we are. I love that. Okay. So you're, you're, you're not the tech guy. You're, you're just straight up fence guy. You had a great idea to save time and that gave birth to my salesman. I am the furthest thing from a from a tech guy. I am not a tech guy. I do like technology, um, but I also like driving my car seventy mile an hour rather than riding a horse where we're going. So I mean, you know, I like to be innovative and you and use new ideas. And I love it when people tell me, "Ah, oh, this is the way we've been doing it for years." And I always walk away from those people and think to myself, "Man, they quit riding horses a long time ago." Um, but I'm not a tech guy. I don't, I don't, I struggle even understanding sometimes how to get my emails on my phone, <laughs> but I am a fence guy well, and our fence company is growing rapidly. So tell me, I mean, we've got so many different kinds of fence companies. What, what type of fence companies should be using my salesman? Who's it a good fit for? Here, here's the beautiful thing is we've got companies, um, we've got a company out on the East Coast that has 16 branches um, and there's multiple uh, areas that they're in, both with trees and not with trees and, and just they're out East and, and they're a, a big, big, solid, strong company. We also have a company in Wichita, Kansas. One guy, his wife does the books, he does the uh, the fancy, the sales and the installs. And he's, he's one guy and he loves it. He's a huge testimonial for us uh, about, so really it works on both ends because it, it's such an easy product to install and, it, and it's working for you all the time. For instance, on Memorial day, I was driving home from Kansas city. I got four leads that came in and I knew how many feet they were, what kind of uh, material they wanted. And there was a qualified leads and they were all over four to five thousand dollars. I like those leads. So very really, nice. So it's not just for the big guys, it's it's you know, smaller companies as well. It's it's whoever wants to save time, really. It, it really is. It's whoever whoever values uh, the, the their time. Um what what is the learning curve for something like this for I mean, you mentioned you're not tech savvy, but this is your baby. So take it to another fence company. Company, Let's say they're not that tech savvy. How long realistically does it take them to implement this and get started qualifying leads in this way? 
So, so it takes us, it takes us about uh, 40 to 50 minutes to get a person totally onboarded and ready to go. And, and we are, we do a go to meeting. We set it all up. Rachel in our office, she, everybody that works with Rachel loves Rachel. She takes care of all that stuff. We're hundred percent hands on. We, we dive right in, we go through it all. And within about 40 to 50 minutes, we can have it up and ready to go and on your website. Um, if you want to add more to it, it literally takes to add us one style of fence. It literally takes maybe, I'm going to say a minute and a half. It's so simple. We really use the kiss method on this thing. Uh, the, the keep it simple, Simon. Um, and we've really done a good job of, of, of doing that. And that was my, my goal because I know that most fence guys are like me. They're really good at running their business and, and, and growing a fence company, but they're not that tech savvy. Okay, so like you mentioned you have um, companies at different spectrums. I, my next question was kind of what types of systems should they have in place to use this? So like a website is for one, you're recommending they're having a website? Yeah, the website, a website is uh, the best, but we've done some research of, uh, of, of the fins companies that we have found across the United States states of the 4,000 uh, uh, companies that we found that have a website. We've, we, we know that there's about 20,000 registered fence companies in the United States. Of the 4,000, only about half of them have an updated website. So a lot of people aren't caught up to that, the technology. But if you have a website, you put that link on there and you can drive people to that and that's your, your, your random person. But we can also put it on your Facebook link um, I have a guy uh, down in Missouri. He emails the link out to every single customer. So when a customer calls him, he emails the link out to them, and they and then that way he can control it. He doesn't really want it on his website, and his website's kind of old, and he doesn't want to spend money updating it. So he just emails it out. Super simple. Uh, so you can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, I've got another guy uh, out on the West Coast. He puts it on his Facebook, and that's how he does everything off of his Facebook. Okay, cool. So, I mean, my next question was going to ask you, like, some case studies like you just did. So, um, give, can you tell me a little bit more how this is impacting, like, the leads they have coming in and – you know, how they're able to close yeah. more sales with this, some numbers or something like that, like a case study? So, so one thing that I, I think my salesman is for the companies that really aren't, aren't the bottom feeders. It's really, it really fits in well with the people that want to sell at a higher level of fence. Now, a little bit more service, the better quality fence, because I, I, I believe it, it, we help get the customer off the market quicker. Our goal here at Empire, um, and I know we were going to uh, talk about this and, and when you and I talked, is when a customer calls us, the first thing we do is we take in all their information. We okay. still do it just like before. We, we write it all down. We, we have this piece of paper that we still fill out old school. But then we drive them to our website. And we tell them about our drawing tool. And we, we tell them we need to get them in there. If they don't want to draw it, go on there. We do it for them. And then, and then it sends them an email thanking them for shopping. So really what we're doing is we're, we're bringing people in um, by, by the leads. But we don't really care if we get more leads. We right. want the best leads possible. And we – we one, we love to see our, our leads come in that, that show a vinyl fence for six, seven thousand dollars because now we know they already know it could cost six or seven thousand dollars and we don't have to get past that uncomfortable stage and we can get them off the market quicker. I got that's it. our goal. So you're the qualifying is basically if they go through that full process and they know the price, then ultimately the odds of closing that sale at that amount increase? Uh, incredibly, yes. Okay. It, it, it increases. But but also, don't forget, we have a tool in the back end that everybody that goes on to our tool, we know exactly how far they shopped, what page they put shopping on. We track all that also. But we don't necessarily, we call that 
an unqualified lead. That's people that are just shopping. And every once in a while, we'll call those people and see what's going on. And most of them, they're just simply looking for a budget number and they're not ready to buy. I actually had a customer go through the other day and it was a $55,000 job. So immediately I was, I didn't even let uh, anybody else call them. I just called them myself. I said, Hey, what's going on? And she goes, I couldn't get anybody to come out and give me a budget number. Uh, she goes, when somebody told me about your company, so I just went to your website, found this tool and I did a drawing. I said, great. Is that budget number? She goes, yeah, I'm going to take this right to the bank right now because she's going to do uh, storage units. Uh, but she was going to use that at the bank. $55,000 lead came in because we were able to give her a budget number. Awesome. So what I would like to do, if it's okay with you, Matt, is I want to walk through a little demo of this and, um, and kind of show, I want to do a role play. Like I want to be the customer okay. calling you and we'll do that. Um, and, and folks, by the way, um, to uh, send in a chat, if you've got questions for Matt on the bottom, you're going to see a little chat button. You can go ahead and, and send a chat and we'll answer those questions at the end. We're going to have a, a little Q&A session. So awesome. So Matt, let me go ahead and, and do this. So I'm going to share my screen right now. Like I found your website somewhere. So okay. let me do that. All oh, right. There you go. So now I'm on your website. I know I want a fence. I'm, I'm yep. interested. And so, so I'm going to call you up. Right. Um, you know, let, let's just kind of take it from there. And you walk me through, um, you know, I guess just say, bring, you know, Empire Fence or whatever, and then I'll be the customer. All right. So the phone, I don't know if, it, if there's a B in front of it. Does it is it ring or, or bring? I don't know. It depends if you're in Canada. I know we have some customers in Canada. They <laughs> might call for me. But hey, by the, I'm probably going to get some, some razzing from some people now from that. But all right. So when the customer calls, Mr. Jones calls and I say, hello, this is Matt at Empire Fence. How can I help you? I say, well, look, you know, I'm, uh, I'm interested in a fence. I really like, um, you know, like white vinyl fences. What, what's something like that going to run me from my house? Uh, we're too busy for you. Call somebody else. How about that one? Uh, <laughs> that, that, that would, show, that would turn me away pretty quick. That, that was a joke. Come on. <laughs> You're a tough crowd here. Okay, so what we would do, first of all, is I would take all the information. So I would say, okay, sir, what's, uh, can I take all your information? What's, what's your name again? And I would literally write it down. Okay. Yep, Scott Andreessen. Scott Andreessen, which is tough to say, by the way. I would not tell my customer that. All right, so, so then we would go through the whole thing. I would ask you a series of questions. But then here's the part that in every fence company in the United States, they all do that same thing. But here's the part where I think it gets good. And I would say, hey, all right, Scott, are you by your, are you by your computer? You would say, all right, go ahead and uh, go to our website and click on the word fencing right in the middle of the page. And you would do that. Okay. So, right, go ahead and enter in your uh, information here. And I would tell people, what I like to tell people is uh, when you're doing this, this puts you us in, puts your information in our, um, in queue with us. So we have it all and it's accurate. So go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Good. Next. Now I put in uh, my home address. Put in your home address, and it's going to Google search your house. By the way, I know a lot of people always wonder, these maps are supposed to be updated about every six to nine months. I just did a check on a project, uh, and it's right at seven months um, that we did. All right, so now I would tell people, now, in order to draw your fence, you can simply just click, or go ahead and, add, and click on Add a Fence. All righty. And just start clicking wherever you want to fence. It's click to start and click to finish. So click to start. Oops, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. No, you're all right. Go ahead. Click it to start. Wait a sec. One sec. Oh. I'm mm -hmm. messing something up. Oh, here we go. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Now, click again. All right. 
Okay. And just for time's sake, awesome. go ahead and just click next up there. And this is a catalog and what every, and, and this is all the different kind of fences that we uh, provide and everybody can put in whatever they want as much or as little as you want. So go ahead and click on uh, iron. Okay. For fine. This will mm -hmm. be fine. Click on the fence track system. Fence track is our signature fence that we sell. Very nice. All right. Okay. And then up in the right hand corner up here on the top, right where our video screen is, click on next. Next. Okay. So what it does is you'll see on here, it gives you the, the budget range of that. Now you can go back, but I bet you had no idea that that would cost eleven to $13,000. I did not. But now you kind of have an idea of what it costs. And what you can do is you, when let's don't do it now, but you can hit change style and you can go back and go back and forth all you want. And we can actually, we track people doing this and we can see that the people are shopping. They're literally having like an Amazon type shopping experience where they're figuring out a little bit of what they can afford. I always come back to people and say, Hey, do you like the pitch track system? Here's what, here's why we like it. And then I go into my sales pitch of it, but they already know the expectations of kind of what it is. So if you click next, what it's going to do is um, it'll, it'll go ahead and send you an email thanking you for shopping. And what we're doing there is we're hitting them again. It'll take about 10 minutes, but we're hitting them again saying, thank you so much. Here's a picture of what you drew. And then Casey actually will follow up and give them a phone call to set the appointment to go meet with them. And we, we, try, we try to go on every single appointment of everybody that goes all the way through to this point. We feel like this is the most qualified customer. You know the kind of fence that you, you have, you know about how many feet you, you, uh, you have in your backyard. You know that it's going to cost a, a 11, 6 to 13, 9. You already, that's a great lead that we have. And that's why I tell people, I don't need any more leads, but I'll take this lead every day. Matt, what are the odds – what are the odds like, you know, I go through this, I see the price. I might say something of, and, and at this point are, are you like, you know, doing the selling, like, you know, it, it's better to invest a little more than expected and get what you want than to pay too little and get, you know, a big mess for your money. Or, I mean, are you doing the selling Absolutely. I mean, one of our taglines around, around here is, is let empire protect your empire with, with an empire fence. I mean, that's, we, we try to tell people all the time that you, when you're investing, I mean, we go into the whole sales pitch. And I would like to think we're pretty, pretty darn good at selling. Um, and we've shown it in our growth. I mean, um, our company's 10 years old and we've grown tremendously um, over the last, especially over the last six years. So, so essentially, are these basically almost closed or they are closed over the phone, these sales? You know, you know what? I, I would consider this. I mean, I, I would think that on most of these leads right here, we have about a 65 to 80 percent chance of getting this job. Um, I, I, I get here's a couple things that, that happen with this. One is your customer knows what's going on. Two, it creates excitement for me, my sales team. I want them, if, if Casey sees this job come through, he's excited to go talk to somebody because he knows it's a really good qualified lead and he knows the odds of him landing it are pretty darn good. It, it really creates a different kind of, and, and attitude is everything. It's everything. You have to be positive. You have to be excited. You, ah, I really don't think I work a, d a day around here because I enjoy it. I love what we do. I love being in the fence industry. I love how we do it. This tool gets people excited. It gets your sales force excited. Very nice. Okay. Um, very cool. So what, um, I mean, that, that, was, that was tremendous. As far as your vision for this over the next, say, 12. Can you, can you take that off, Scott? Because Casey's kind of an ugly guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm a joke. I love Casey. He's like a brother. <laughs> but uh, that was that was very helpful. I like how you did that. So um, we do have a, a question here, I believe. Let me see. Something came in. 
Uh, here we go. Actually, this one's coming from Dustin. He says, when we check our drop-off report, we lose most people at stage three. I find that many people don't realize that they need to hit the next again, or hit the next button again to actually send the request to us. Do you have a comment right. on that? Yeah, so we, we, we check our drop-off report about once a week. And if, if we see a lot of leads coming in, we're probably not as proactive as we could because we do put some things off. We're, we are super busy. We are slammed. Our company, I get it when people tell me I don't need any more leads, but I also know that we need to capture those. Um, we're actually working on a, on a, on a tool. We're going to change this thing this winter. So by FinTech next year, we're going to have another, another way of, may, of people, whenever they do drop off, we're going to ask them again, are you sure you didn't, you know, didn't want to go all the way through? Uh, and we're going to have a follow-up email that's going to be automatically generated. And it's in, it's in the works. We call it a wish list. We, it's a thing that we do is whenever we experience problems ourselves, the greatest thing about having my salesman is that when I get irritated at something that it doesn't do, like that right there, Dustin, I, I agree 100%. We, we've got to have a follow-up on that. We're going to fix it because we're actually using the tool along with our customers. So yeah. that is in the works. We're going to have that done by, by FinTech. Yeah, and, and I would think like something like maybe just a, um, a screen share video, you know, just a little video walkthrough. It would take, what, 30 seconds that they could post on their site if they're concerned about that anyway, of, of just, you right. know, here's a quick demo of how, we, how you can get your quote. Um, yeah, and I know, I know exactly what Dustin's talking about because people get to that last page and they don't realize you have to go one more. So, but we're, we're going to get that, we're going to get that uh, fixed. So a few more of those come through, but that's also why we have that drop-off report there. And, and I tell our customers all the time, check out drop-off report. It's super easy. All the information's there. You can pull it up and Dustin, uh, you're, if you're listening, you can also export that into a, an Excel file with just a click of a button. And if you have any questions on that, don't forget, my salesman, we don't charge a thing for helping you out. So if you need to call Rachel, it's absolutely free. Very cool. So we're going to, um, I think, you know, I, I know that we're on a time limit here. So um, what I want to do maybe is ask you one more question, and then we're going to get to a Q&A session. Um, sure. So some questions are coming in here and guys, you have questions, gals, you know, just enter it in the chat box right now. We're going to have a, a quick Q and a, um, so you mentioned like updates, you're out of, you're, you're doing updates regularly. Um, what, what is your vision kind of overall for my salesman over the next year to two years? Well, uh, so my salesman is, is I, my just one thing I've learned with entrepreneurs is that our brains are always going. We're always trying to think of the next thing. And I really have to pump the brakes sometimes because I get super excited about, Hey, let's get it to do this. Let's make it do this. And I love it. And I have a lot of great customers that call me. I will tell you the, one of the coolest things that we're working on right now and the technology is not quite there is that, we're going to actually be able to have uh, the customers go out there and walk where they want their yard and we're in and hit a button and we're going to be able to actually measure it out. Instead of them doing it on the, on the computer, they'll be able to do it out there uh, live. And we're, we're right on the, on the verge. We, we've got to get a few uh, things li uh, lined up uh, with Google earth and, and some mapping software. Um, the other cool thing is, is that we're going to be able to tell people how many utilities uh, that they have, uh, in their backyard um, and that that we're waiting for a lot of the municipalities to catch up with us uh, we're actually across the nation I think Cleveland has it uh, I know Lincoln Nebraska has it Denver has it where they're actually putting their utilities in the ground so when a person comes through that drawing on that first show, we'll be able to see the utilities that are in their backyard or the public utilities that are in their backyard and that'll be cutting it cutting edge I think we're a couple years away from that but we're we're following that that's where we're going and it's it's going to be a complete game changer as far as laying out uh, the backyards and, and and helping with underground utilities, which is a real trust me, any fits guy out there, it's a real problem right now. Very nice. Now I do want to show a couple of things here. Um, well, one thing I want to show is how people are driving traffic to this tool. 
to your tool. Um, right. I mean, they're, they're of course using the, the internet, SEO, Google <laughs> pay-per-click, Facebook ads, I know is real popular. Um, and then you, you've been using it yourself through a TV commercial. I, I did. I, I experimented a little bit. I had a, um, a local uh, television station contact us and said they had some cheap ads or affordable ad space that wasn't being used. And I thought, you know what, let's give this a try and see what happens. Do you have that? I sent you the video because I thought it was pretty cool. Do you have it real quick? I do. I want to I want to show that real quick. I'm not sure how well the audio is going to come out, but let's um, let's try it. Wondering how much it would cost to build a fence around your commercial or residential property? Empire Fence makes it easy to find out a budget with our price estimator tool. Simply draw your fence lines on a map, choose your height and materials, and then get an instant quote. It's easy, it's fast, and it's only a click away. Empire Fences and Windscreens are a great way to add safety, security, and privacy to your commercial or residential property. Learn more and get your instant quote at empire-fence.com today. Hey, so so that's it, Scott. It's 30 seconds. It's a clip. They use it in filler space. We negotiated a great price for them. When this airs during the Wheel of Fortune at night, I, I bet we get seven, eight awesome leads. I'm talking seven to $15,000 range leads. They're, they're the good, good leads. That, and it's like clockwork. I, and we only do it, we do it for one week a month, the first week of every month, and we only do it at the six o'clock hour during Wheel of Fortune uh, is, is for us. And that's all we're doing. And it doesn't cost us too much money. Um, and it is just amazing, the high dollar leads. We, we had a, um, a lead come in. It, it was a uh, like $21,000 lead that came in. And, and she, it was for real. It was, she had no idea. She's like, I just didn't want to call somebody. I wanted to, we ended up actually kind of pitching her and selling her into it. And, she wasn't even planning on selling a fence. Now she's uh, or buying a fence. Now she's going to be buying one from us. That paid for all the advertisement of that entire session. So it's kind of exciting. I I'm not a big TV promotion guy, but it it actually worked. That's awesome. So we have um, we're going to do a, a quick Q and A session if that's all right, Matt. Um, sure. Some people ask some questions here, and. Uh, so we got a question from Brennan. We have a question from Shelly. And so Brennan asks, what's the cost of the program? <clears throat> well, we give it to you for 30 days free to try. Um, we, here's my thing is that I want to make sure you like it. Also, there's no contract. So at any given time, if you don't like it, you drop us. Uh, I can't stand the cell phone companies, how they lock you into long-term contracts. I can't stand that stuff. I just don't think it's right. The cost per month is $125 a month, unlimited use. You can use it as much as you want. What we ask is if you have another, if you grow into another branch, each additional branch after that's $100. I came up with that price point for this. I figure that it cost me about $75 to $100 to go chase a, a, a lead. If I can help anybody out there save uh, time of going on one or two dead end leads, I paid for paid for it. And if I can help you land a job that maybe you wouldn't have got, then it's money in your pocket. It's one twenty five a month. First thirty days is free to try. If you don't like it, drop it. No contract, no nothing. Very cool. Okay. Um, now Shelly asked the question. She's asking. We, uh, she says, we have the My Salesman link on our website. When a customer does a drawing, we get an email and contact the customer. What's your suggestion for this phone call with the customer? So, so what we, we do a follow-up call. And actually, it's funny. I was, my son's back from college this summer, and he's helping us do some. And I've always made him go be the guy digging the holes. Um, uh, but now he wanted to learn some sales. So, I just got done working with him on how to call that customer and do a follow-up and set that appointment. What we do is we make a very, very soft approach of uh, we, our goal is to go see that customer right away, as soon as possible, mm -hmm. to get them off the market. But sometimes they want to schedule it. So let's say it's Monday, we schedule it for Thursday. 
our goal then is to go and and actually we we get that on our phone the the lead on our phone and we walk through that with the customer verify the measurements and make sure that that it's somewhat accurate and then we start going through the estimating process i hope that answers it excellent okay um, we have a, uh, a couple more questions here. One from Brennan and, uh, and Dustin. What's up, Dustin? Thank you so much for attending. Dustin's a client of ours. Um, Brennan asks, how do you put it on my website or is it a link that we just click on? No, it, it's a, we give you a, it, it's a called a partner code. We give you a link that actually slides into your website. It's very simple. Um, I don't know if I could do it, but for anybody that's computer savvy at all, uh, it's very simple to do. It's actually a partner code that um, you, you probably already have something similar on that. A lot of people now have a, a, a generic thing they fill out and then it emails just generic information. It's the same, it fits right into that same spot. So this basically is taking the place of that generic uh, email that you used to get that somebody was in, the contact information. Uh, once, but it's super easy. Okay. Um, yeah. And on that note, uh, anyone who needs help with that, that's watching this live, they can ask us and we would go ahead and help them install that for free. Little perk. Um, Dustin wow. asks thoughts about using for patios or pergolas in the future. What do you think? Yes. About that, uh, you know what is the dust? I wonder um, if Dustin is one. It's, I got a phone call this week about that, and we are actually working on some stuff um, that's going to be sort of like a deck a deck builder budget lead qualifier. Um, it's it's in the works. Uh, I want to make it a little bit different. There's some there's some new technology out there that we think that we'll be able to draw the the shape of the phone or the deck with the phone. So we want to see if we can implement some of that. Um, I don't want to go too much into that. I don't want to give it away, uh, what, what we're doing. But um, railing, you can do railing because you can put railing in there um, if you knew the measurements for it. Um, but the whole deck builder kit, it's something that we're working on. Um, I have a, a couple clients down in uh, Dallas, Texas that want us to, to come up with something for that. So we're, we're, it's in the works. Very nice. Okay, and now we have another question from another Dustin, and um, I know I want to keep you on time, Matt, and so, um, you know, maybe maybe this will be the last one. If there's any more, maybe we'll take one more, but otherwise, um, if they have questions, I suppose they can reach out to you directly, right? Um, you bet. Contact the same time. Yeah. If anybody want, wants to get a hold of us, Rachel, that's her full-time job. She wakes up every day thinking about my salesman and the my salesman customers. And I would like to think that there's not a, a better person out there in customer service. She does an outstanding job. But we want we want to we are passionate about being in the industry. Uh, we're passionate about the fencing industry. Uh, but I do run the day-to-day -day operations of our uh, net and fencing company. So I'm, is she, I'm is there. she there. Can they can they see her? Can she wave? Uh, I don't know, oh, Rachel. Can you come in here? Yeah. Oh, great. Now I'm going to be the ugly one in this conversation. There she is. Come around, Rachel. There she is. That's Rachel. Hey, so if you've ever called and never seen her, that's Rachel. She's here all the time. She'll take your call. Um, she even she's taking calls on Saturdays and probably even on Sundays. She. She's a, a very hard worker. She does an outstanding job, and I don't know if we could have ever found anybody else to do what she does. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we have we got one more question here coming in from um, Dustin. Dustin, uh, by the way, Brad Jones says Rachel is a rock star. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, Brad, um, that's my Canadian friend. Hi, hi, Brad. How's Tr uh, how's uh, Trudeauville going? Chris Cox agrees. He says, I agree. All right, Dustin has a question for you, man. Everybody, everybody loves Rachel. <laughs> um, Brad says, better than Hillary. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so uh, Dustin, no Dustin wants to know, are there any plans to create a widget to embed my salesman into their website as opposed to redirecting off-site? All right, I'm sorry, say it one more time. 
Um, he's asking about like if in the future the my salesman if it's going to keep them purely on their website as opposed to like clicking a button and then taking them off of the site? Well, technically it, it does take them off the site, but we do that mostly so we can operate in the cloud. So we don't take any, we don't slow down your computer, but technically yeah. they can't go anywhere, but back on your website. Um, now, when they get to the end and they click on that, on that last page, it kicks them back to their website. So technically we try to keep them in there, but, but by operating it in the, in the cloud, we try to, I'm not a computer guru, but this is the best way to do it. So you don't have to download anything. You don't have to put anything on your computer. You're literally working off of our cloud space. Now yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, Greatly thank you for your time on this, Matt. Uh, we got a couple more comments. Marilena, hopefully I'm saying your name right, uh, Marilena. She says, my salesman is the best and the people are real. Um, Brad says, uh, another way that we use it is to give a copy to our installers. They know exactly what they're doing. Saves me time yeah. and trips showing them the job. So yeah, yeah I mean, good reviews, the people good. love it. How before we end, Matt? How do people uh, find you? How how do they how do they get my salesman? Well, the the best way the best way to to learn more about my salesman is go to the the mysalesman.com website. Okay. Um, that's the that's the best way, uh, way. If you want to send us an email, you can uh, send an email directly to Rachel or myself. That's either Rachel or Matt at mysalesman.com. Mm -hmm. You can also give us a call. Uh, Rachel, you want to tell them the number to give us a call? Um, okay, so my personal number, my direct number, the phone that goes home with me every day is 402-540-2067. And, and that's, that's the line that we use most of the time for her. Um, but if anybody wants to get a hold of us, the best way to do it is to go to mysalesman.com. Yeah. Uh, check it out. Look at it. You can do a free little little test thing there. And as soon as you do a test, if you do the try the demo, as soon as you do that, Rachel's going to give you a call. As soon as you put in your phone number, she's going to reach out to you. We're, we're very proactive about getting – customer service is just a big – doggone it, it's a big deal to me. Cool. Very cool. Well, listen, I thank you so much for your time, Matt and Rachel. Um, you gave more than what was expected. I greatly appreciate that. And for all you folks that attended, you know, thank you so much. I hope you found tremendous value from this. And uh, on that note, I guess we'll go ahead and wish everyone a lovely day. All right. Thank you so much, Scott, for putting yeah. this together. I appreciate Take it. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. All right.